Okay, so I have an idea. So Chris is naturally a strong athlete. He's going to beat me up those mountains. He's going to beat me on the bike. He's going to have probably the most amazing bike you could imagine. Now, to his credit, Greg also finished DK200 this year. He's become quite a bit of an endurance athlete. My training level, not so hot. So, I need to pick up incremental gains. Little gains here and there that might keep up with them. So, I'm going to stop at the cosmetology school and get those legs waxed. I guess it depends on how you look at it. The funniest thing is the part that takes a while of the shaving of the legs before the waxing is probably the most terrifying part. Because I know the next part is going to be tearing bits off. But you guys don't have the pain tolerance like women do? Oh, we don't have pain tolerance for women do. Well, that's probably very true. What am I getting into here for small, small gains? Maybe, Maybe I didn't think this through. They actually have to shave my legs before waxing them. I think I'm a little jumpy since the antiseptic just made me cringe. Now, I haven't been training nearly hard enough for this, so I need to squeeze out every little thing I can. So, of course, step one, wax the legs. So you're starting in the back of the leg? Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, you can feel that strip going on there. And people do this for fun? Not for fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was the knee pit. to the upper inner thigh part. Oh, this is gonna be a hard one. Was I think, worse. yeah, getting tattooed was worse, but that is definitely a wake up in the morning. That's like a wake up at 7 a.m., skip your coffee and get a wax. Yes. Well, <laughs> did you have your legs waxed? Yes. <laughs> is your hair as long as mine? No. Oh, geez. I think you can tell from how red my face is getting how this is. <laughs> Maybe you're right about females having higher pain tolerance. Oh, I know I'm right. <laughs> Am I leaking? No. <laughs> what kind of patches do you need? I wouldn't call it painful. It's just something that I don't think, I don't think men ever have to normally think about going through. Mm -hmm. Putting hot stuff all over your legs and ripping it off is kind of a weird thing. Look at those freckly legs. They're so British. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> I'm turning so red. It's a ridiculous place to have nerve receptors like on your knee, on your knee below right? your kneecap. That makes no sense. There's so much hair. I hope you can hear it ripping off. Yeah, I'm breathing. I'm trying to breathe. Is it Lamaze or just deep breaths? I was starting to think if they did this in the Wild West, they definitely would have had shots of whiskey first. The inner thigh. Oh, no. <laughs> the anticipation of it, I hope, is worse. If that's where it starts to get sensitive on the inner thigh, I can't imagine anyone who waxes anything else. These were not the gains you're looking for. There's still wax hiding on my thighs, and I have waxy little hairs. So, do you want to put your legs down and all? Holy crap. It's like a skinned chicken. Yeah. So, I'm not too sure about my brilliant plan. 
I have never had my legs wax like that before. Um, all I can say is I better have some sweet, sweet gains better than 30 seconds in seven days going up a mountain. Men, waxing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Really can't say I endorse it, but at the same time, holy hell. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It's more like a lot of slapping and pinching and there's crying involved sometimes, especially when you get to that weird inner knee pit. But other than that, I think this is going to be step one in actually surviving this bike tour with the young guys.